afternoon, everybody. Thank you very much for coming here today. It is a pleasure uh, to be at Linea Pele. I would like really to thank Linea Pele as well for welcoming us here. Uh, I am Carmen Arias from the European Foodware Confederation, as you have seen in the program. Uh, I am coming here today to present you a European project called Life Green Shoes for All. Uh, that they obviously they fall within the sustainability uh, agenda that we all have in our in our lives, basically at the level of consumer and companies. We, the project, uh, basically responds to the needs of the industry, the consumers as well, but it is it fits under the framework of the European uh, Commission uh, priorities, I would say, in the sense that uh, as you have probably read in the newspapers and around. There are a lot of initiatives at the, at, the, at the legislative level coming up, and they have already been there. Uh, the Commission talks about, well, we have on, in one hand, apart from the, the legislation, we are seeing a really change, a big change on the climate. We have, uh, well, we are all afraid of these uh, the, um, uh, floods and uh, dry, dryness around the world. We have seen the COVID, now the war, the horrible, war, terrible war the consequences on high electricity prices, energy prices, also the, uh, the, the, the scarcity of materials, of the increase of, uh, in the inflation rates, basically we have everything. We cannot have more things in our lives. So what it is true is that consumers would like now to contribute and minimize this environmental impact. And, and, uh, and for that, they are also looking at the products to see where are they coming from, where are they produced? What uh, impact uh, do they produce in the environment? And for that, uh, in one hand, the European Commission uh, respond with legislative, uh, frame in, with legislative initiatives, such as, for instance, in already 19, in 2019, they started with the EU Green Deal, that is the overall strategy, where, and then now more concretely in March, we had a few, many, many of the, uh, of the different initiatives coming up, we are talking about eco-design for sustainable products. We are talking about um, proposals for empowering consumers for the green transition. So consumers will really be able to decide on which product are they going to, to buy. Uh, on the, in, there is on the other hand as well, uh, one initiative focusing on our industrial ecosystem called, they call it the textile ecosystem, but basically they are referring to textile, uh, clothing, leather, and footwear. And there we need really to focus and pay attention because many other legislative proposals are coming. In, in this sense, uh, th this is just a summary of the um, EU textile strategy. Again, when you see the word strategy, pay attention because our sec subsectors, I would say all the subsectors are included. So leather, clothing, uh, footwear, leather goods, all of them although they call it e textile strategy. So we need really to look at that. And this is just, for instance, they are all this in this fact sheet, but the key actions where the commission is saying attention, we are going to focus on that. So please react because, uh, I mean, we cannot go on uh, we, uh, in this situation. So they are asking for design requirements for, uh, for sorry, for products, there is a mistake. Tackle uh, greenwashing, you have seen all of you when you go to the supermarket, when you show to shops, everything looks green, but at the end of the day you ask, well, what is green? We don't know. I mean, it, it would, each one considers a different concept. So they would like to have some reference for consumers to know exactly what are they buying. And, and for, for companies as well, those they are doing big efforts on, on the products, so what they can, uh, they, they, what is that about? Uh, and all this, probably, in the, well, probably no, certainly in the future, they are talking also about a digital product passport. So when you go to the shop, you will have your product, a t-shirt, a notebook, whatever, you will turn and you will be able to scan the code where you will be listen, learning about how much environmental footprint is produced. If this one is better than this one, I mean, better or not better, it's just I mean, different, different composition. So this is of interest as well for the consumers, but also for the companies who can really show what they are doing. Uh, they are talking also about restrict, um, uh, yeah, they, you will not be, a, companies and, and, and countries will not be able just to say, okay, all this waste, what do we do with it? We just throw it to another country. No, they will say, finito. Now is you are producing, you are having waste, you take care of the waste. So you will have to pay a certain amount, a little amount. In all, all the consumers will have to pay a little fee, extra fee in the products to, to make this possible, basically. 
on, uh, on the legislation as well, we are also going to be affected by the chemical strategy, that it is going to be focusing more and more restrictive. The chemicals that we are using, they should be uh, basically not harmful for the, for the person, for the people. They are uh, also, well, this is the rich regulation, it's also about chemicals, it's a little technical, I will not go into that. They are also asking, uh, the, the ones that they are saying, okay, this is green, uh, the companies will have to show why to say that it is green, because I don't see it. There will be some specific textiles eco-design requirements, but also for leather bags, for footwear, so each product will have a certain way to, to produce, um, to design, basically. And then other, pro other proposals for plastics in particular and packaging as well. There are so what are we do? What did we do on the, uh, our project? Our, well, we, we said let's let's help companies to to realize to first learn how much environmental footprint their products are are producing, and then what can they do for improving such a, an impact. And for that, um, well, there is also we are also looking in this project at uh, at promoting the single market of green products, and finally we are proposing actions to companies to say like this, you will reduce your, your footprint, environmental footprint. And the first thing we did was to produce these eco-design guidelines for the, uh, for the footwear industry, for the footwear companies, to say, okay, if you do this, this, you will be saving in, 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 in waste, you will be saving on product, you will be saving on, on category, sorry, on, on uh, energy, on water, and so on. This methodology, I mean, this, this is based in the methodology of the product environmental footprint. And uh, as in, uh, nowadays, there are a lot of like life cycle as assessment uh, methods. The positive things of this one is that it considers 16 different impact categories. So we are talking about materials, we are talking about component, energy, water, and so on. So it has more reliability when it comes to realize, okay, my company, where, where, you, where is not working? Why? Why? So we noticed, uh, we did, we, there are five companies uh, from Romania, Portugal, and uh, Spain that have participated. They have been, it has been a success. They have been f following the methodology that we are using, and they have achieved very good results. Uh, okay, this is just how it works, basically. Uh, as I said, I mean, one thing also good about this methodology is that it shows you numbers. So with the numbers, you can compare and say, okay, here is where I, I am missing my, the problem on, on the impact. I mean, this is more impact. We need to reduce water. How do I do this? How do, and so on. What we noticed after all this uh, research and test with the companies is that the, there were two main points influencing the environmental footprint. One was the climate change and energy will increase and so on. But also the other one, the main one, was the use of the, of the materials and components. Depending on, on, on how much you, uh, on what do you put in the shoe, for instance, on the left by the back, you will have a higher material and a lower. Uh, so basically, uh, we did some tests on all these categories of shoes, so very, very diverse. Uh, first, we try in 13 models. In the second round, we try 47. And these are now the results. If I want to... Okay. So the results were a reduction on CO2 up to 30% with our eco-design guidelines. You have seen. Then this is more in concrete. Uh, of, on footwear, we obtain greener footwear models with lighter material, recycled materials, natural and renewable materials. And this is the, the different, uh, well, improvements on climate change uh, results, basically. The base and sustainability, how much you see the reductions. Uh, there was one company doing EVA recycling, using EVA recycling materials, that you use in the composition of footwear or other, well, many other products, actually. And uh, they managed, okay, they identified that they had three different kinds of materials waste. And uh, two of these different the two of these types of materials, they managed to recycle 100%, meaning all the waste, they, qu they could use it to make up a new material 100% recyclable. So they, they, it was obviously that they were used, I mean, on, in one hand, they were not having waste. And in the other hand, they were using this, um, this material instead of buying new ones. So this is just an example on the EVA. 
there is also other materials. Uh, well, this is basically more technical on, on the different layers of the EVA, basically, and different kinds. They are different. And this is another of the material. I mean, this is very more technical, thermoplastic recycling. Well, not even myself, I can pronounce all these uh, words, but I mean, the experts, uh, they know very well uh, the, the, the improvements, basically. Uh, this was here up to 50%, so it is quite good. Oh. And on the, the term and the TPU up to 68% of the reduction of the impact. And uh, this was just was finally the last ones on the rubber recycled materials. The gain there was also all this evolution, I mean, of improvements and reduction. And I think that is that. Thank you very much. I don't know if you have any question. No questions? Okay. Okay. Thank you.